Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's vlog I have started since early morning as I was preparing the lunch box for my kids. I had some leftover dal from yesterday so I needed it into a dough. I have added little oats powder also to it to increase the nutrition value. Do you to struggle with the kids and oats? Try this recipe and they cannot figure out that this paratha had oats in it. I will now make the regular parathas as we do. For Yuvan, I make small size paratha so that it is easy for him to lift and eat. For Nandini, I will shape the paratha into a wrap so that it's easy for her to hold and the jam will also not drip down. Now little jam and this savory paratha will taste really good. Do give it a try. I'm sure your kids will love it. And it's a really quick 10 minutes lunchbox recipe. Any leftover dal and a paratha. Simple. I will now pack their lunch boxes with these paratha sandwiches, some rice crisps and some fruits. After all the hustle bustle, finally when my husband leaves for the office, it's time for me to take a breather. So I take a break of 10-15 minutes and spend some me time in the morning itself. After the break, it's time for some exercise. I prefer to do all these things in the mornings deliberately because once the household chores starts and knowing myself, I will not give this a priority. I have chosen yoga specifically for very simple reasons. I can do it at my own pace, my own space and it has become a habit now. After the workout, I take shower, do puja, followed by a breakfast. And on the days when there is something which I have prepared only for kids lunchbox, this is my usual breakfast. A cup of coffee and bread slices. Now while having breakfast, I thought of making pinwheel pizza for lunch with whole wheat. For that, the dough needs to be fermented. So I will knead the dough and let it rest for an hour. By lunch time, it will be ready. I have taken 3 cups of whole wheat, 1 teaspoon of yeast, 1 fourth teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon sugar, around 2 tablespoons of oil and 1 and a half cup of warm water. This dough needs to be little sticky. So if you feel the water is getting more, let it be because this is whole wheat. The, it needs more moisture to release the gluten and get the flexibility. Knead the dough with whole 1.5 cups of water. Once it is kneaded, spread the oil in the dish. Keep your dough in it and roll it with the oil from all sides. Cover it and let it rest for at least one hour. And 
since few days i was noticing that my chimney was getting dirty so i thought of cleaning it these small small things we tend to ignore many times but these things only catch more dirt over a period of time and now if it will take me 10 minutes to scrub it then it will take me 20 minutes to do it so i prefer to do these type of cleanings around every 15 to 20 days little scrubbing my 5 minutes and the hood is clean i tried cleaning it with the kitchen spray but it wasn't helping the cover got cleaned the filter was not getting clean by the spray it wasn't getting clean by the spray and the scrubber so i had to use this pink stuff it is a vegan cleaner and can be used on anything and everything it's completely safe to use with no harsh chemicals and foul smell and this is not a paid promotion just my personal experience Now by the time the filter will get dry I will clean other few neglected things in the other rooms Switchboards are on the top of the list I clean them with wet wipes As the wet wipes have alcohol so if there are any dirt and stains it gets removed very easily with not much efforts Second thing on my list are doors. How often do you clean your doors? Do you find any layer of dust on your doors or is it only me? Do let me know in the comment box. It hardly takes me 5 to 7 minutes to clean all the doors in my house and all it takes it's one or two wet wipes. And yeah, how can we forget the hooks behind the doors? These doggy tails are right behind my entrance door where we hang our keys. That means they are used daily. Which means they will definitely get dirty. Combs are another thing which are used every single day but bechare clean nahi ho pate. This is a dual comb. One side is for detangling dry hairs other side is for wet hairs i will leave a link in the description box just in case any one of you want to check it's a blessing to have this comb in the morning rush hours when your daughter loves to have long hairs but is super scared of getting them pulled while detangling by this time all parts of the chimney were dry and yuvan was also home so i came back to the kitchen to prepare lunch before any meltdowns because my tummy is hungry i will now punch out all the air from the fermented dough and will knead it for another 2 to 3 minutes I will now divide it into two parts. I will use one part today and will keep another in the fridge. It stays good for 3 days. Although I used it next day only by making tandoori rotis. 
the dough which I am using today, I will knead it like this for another 5 minutes. After kneading and stretching, I will roll it into a thin and big chapati. This chopping board comes in really handy as it is quite large in size. I will now spread pizza sauce on it and some cheese. I have used mozzarella cheese. Next I will layer it with all the vegetables. I have fine chopped beans, bell peppers, carrots, mushrooms. I will now sprinkle some pizza seasoning on top pizza. and some more cheese. A pizza! Mm. I'm going to eat it all! Let me make it first. Can I help you? Okay, I'm going to step on it. I will now start folding the base from one end like this. And as you can hear Yuan, he was very anxious oh, that all the pizza. pizza is going somewhere inside. Mm. I will now cut them into small pieces. Give me two minutes, then I'll put this pizza I'll put inside. I will now oil my cake baking tin. Since it was round in shape, I thought it would be a good idea to bake inside this. I will now place all of them together next to each other. And put some more cheese on top. Put the cheese on and the cheese taste nice. check I will now put it in the oven at 180 degrees for at least 20 minutes I will now grill it from the top for 5 minutes the waiting time was getting long and he was getting very excited and our pull apart pinwheel pizza okay, is ready I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog as much as we enjoyed eating these pizza pinwheels. Don't go without subscribing to the channel if you have come for the first time. Like the video if you liked any part of it. You never know when any of your small gesture can leave a big impression on somebody. I will see you soon. Bye bye.